When it comes to climate, the name Yazd province reminds everyone of arid deserts, burning sunshines and little rain. But there is a softer side to this extreme climate, where nature blooms and fruit orchards cover areas so large that one may think that they've landed from the sky in the middle of the desert. In reality, there have been ways to make this miracle happen. Wherever there is water, nature creates magic, especially when it appears in the desert. Throughout history, Iranians created ways to wisely manage and control water reserves. The Kanats in Iran are a perfect example that show how artistically people controlled and utilized water in arid lands. Abarku is an ancient city situated in Iran's central province of Yazd. The city is famous for its man-made oases that display an explosion of green in a region covered with rough sands as far as the eye can see. A lost paradise known as Gashar is a perfect example of how water creates magic in the desert. Abarku is best known for its diversity both in terms of history and nature. This is a generous land that displays the beauties of desert and vegetation altogether. More than 8,000 hectares of farmlands and 7,000 hectares of fruit orchards are created in Abarku County. The drive along the roads that pass among the fruit orchards of Gashat and Qasimabad take us to a farm where many good things in the world are grown to enrich the people's tables across the country. We met with one of the locals who was also a distinguished farmer in his own ranch to learn more about the region and its crops. اینجا چون در مجاور رودخونه قرار داره کلی اراضی و باغاتش به این لحاظ از قدیم ایام چشمه‌های زیادی داشته و به همین لحاظ آب‌های زیرزمینی این منطقه نسبتاً بهتره. کشت غالب این منطقه بیشتر زردآلو هست. و از جمله خود من ولی ما رو گردو زردالو انار بیشتر انگور و به حتی فعالیت داریم و نتیجه هم خوب داده کل ابرقو هم تازگی ها رو گیاهان کم آب خواب به خصوص پسته دارن کار میکنن و زعفرون که ان بتونیم با آب کمتری به اصطلاح محصول بهتری تولید کنیم به خصوص هر دو هم هم پسته و زعفرون صادراتی In the past, Abarku benefited from 103 canal streams which irrigated the farthest places across the region, taking water to places where even a tiny drop of water was not found. A canal is a gently sloping aqueduct or channel, especially dug to transfer water from its main source to the surface, either for drinking or irrigation. This ancient system comprises a series of vertical access shafts or wells that reach the tunnel from the surface. In a semi-arid land such as Iran, they are still considered as one of the best inventions of mankind. The technique of building canats was developed in Iran in 1000 BC. Due to its efficiency, the system rapidly spread across dry countries in parts of Africa, the Middle East and Central Asia. To build a canat, a well digger first chooses a hill and starts digging for what is called a mother well, aimed at reaching a waterbed. Then the digger, who is also called Mokani in Persian, digs a tunnel leading to the water towards its main destination. In some parts of Iran and the world, life still depends on canats. Luckily, we were able to find a professional well digger who allowed us inside one of the active canats near Abarku city. This water duct belongs to the longest canat in the region that stretches 2,000 meters. The 600-year-old subterranean canal is pretty active and requires dredging twice a year. And there are special experts to handle the difficult task. The path through parts of the tunnel was narrow. 
minding your head is also important. We tried to remain calm. The only thing that passed through my mind in that moment was the huge amount of rock that hanged above my head. میله عمق پشت کمه دلیلش اینه که الان مثلا الان فصل لایروبیه خب گل خیلی اومده گل و لای کف قناتو گرفته از ارتفاع پشت کم کرده به همین دلیل الان که داریم راه میریم نمیتونیم قد راست وایسیم یه سری که اینو لایروبی کنن دوباره میشه رو قد راست حرکت کرد مهمتر از همه چیم اینه که چجوری اونا اون زمان بدون هیچ وسیله ترازی یا مثلا اندازگیری این سطح زمین رو اومدن که شیب رو رعایت کردن که آب نخواد پس گود بره به قول مغنی ها به شیب خودش رعایت شده آب اومده و یعنی اگر مثلا انا شما حساب کنین اگر یه روشی نداشته باشن یه مسیری حرکت میکنن مثلا ست مت دیویس مت قناتو به جلو میبرن نگاه میکنیم اینی مثلا پس گود شد از آب بالا نمیاد ولی الان اگر نگاه کنین مهایی را محتمی بگیری مهایی را محتمی بگیری مهایی را محتمی بگیری جلو پاتونه برای من کنات بود در ایرگیشن تانلز 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 بود The wells were dug 50 meters apart to give access to the canot for maintenance and dredging in addition to ventilating the system. Another amazing point about the canot was how diggers knew exactly where they had to dig the next access well from above the ground so accurately on top of the tunnel below. Despite the undeniable role of canats in giving new life to agriculture in dry lands across Iran, today many of these historical structures have perished and farmers are now resorting to other irrigation solutions to grow their crops in the heart of the desert. What a wedge make a mother in Charleston as a limit garm of Hosh Bahraman has teams the Miston Hoya Sard, Manfia Dawaz, the Hatterjer, Tajo Becard in Vatavistan Hoya Bissior Garme, Bolo Chel Darejero. Dosh team, Bohamein Hall Mob, Tanavoy Masulot Bissior, Hubia der Shahriston Dorim, the Inham Farad Bedalil Estefode as Ravish Hoya Novinik Shaverzi, the Obiori has the Mobish as Cesar Hector Gandom der Shahriston Dorim, the Om de Masulot Zero Yamor Tashkilmide. و اش 8000 از 8000 هکتار محصولات باقی ما عمده محصولات پسته هست که کم آب خواه هست و زردالو هم که در شهرستان کاشت میشه اون هم مجهز به سیستم های آبیاری نوین هست که مصرف آب بالایی نداره For centuries, the residents of Abarku have had their own customized ways of taming the desert and turning it into a pleasant place to live in. These people are amazing and deserve to be better known and understood. Amir Mehdi Kazemi for Iran.